So within Battlegrounds, obviously, there's a lot of aspects and a lot of things which are going to determine whether you win the match. So I'm going to give you a video right now giving you tips, tricks, maybe a bit of both. I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. And little things which are going to help you win the game or do better at Battlegrounds in general. And if you do like it, don't forget to subscribe and like, obviously. And if you want, leave in the comment section and hopefully I can make more tip videos for you guys. Right, guys. So in the video, as you can see, I'm going up to a car right now. And you can see on the back i'm going to look at them in a second these lights on the back of here are not on so them little red ones my acog site was on they're not on okay so that means the car hasn't been used no one's used it that's how it spawned the vehicles all used to spawn east but they don't anymore but once you get in and you drive it like i am right now you'll stop the vehicle you know most people will stop get out and if they run off and leave the vehicle to loot buildings nearby, look at the lights, they're now on. Okay, so the majority of the time when lights are on the vehicle, that means someone has used them. So it's your choice, you can risk taking it, or what I tend to do is shoot out the tires of the vehicle. So if the person does want to come on and launch, you can't shoot the lights out either. But if the person does want to come along and use the tire, well, the vehicle, the tires ain't going to be there, so they can't. So what a lot of people don't realise in this game is when you open a door, it opens the way you're going into it. So they all doors swing both ways. So if you look, that door I just went through opened inwards. So now I'm going out, it opens out. So if you're running past buildings and you can see the doors are facing inwards, sometimes it means the enemies are still in there. So, you know, you've got to be wary of them buildings unless they do what I do now and run out one door and run out the other door but facing both ways. So then they leave both doors facing open. If you see a door open, majority of the time it means they're not in there anymore. But if it's facing inwards, just be wary because they may not have gone out the back door. So what you can do is check the back door just to see if they're in there or not. So yeah, be careful of doors before you go run into houses. So on this game, you have two different ways which you can pick things up. Either clicking F if you're on PC or running up to it and clicking Tab and dragging and dropping. So when you click F, you have a like, little animation of your character bending down, picking something up or you're using their hands to pick it up in general. So it takes slightly longer to pick up the item itself. But if you just run over and hold Tab and then drag and drop, it skips that animation. So what happens is it just goes straight into inventory and if you need to loot while you're moving or you've got someone chasing you, you can literally run and pick stuff up at the same time if you do it quick enough. So I'm dragging and dropping here and it's literally going straight into my inventory and applying straight away. So remember that, if you need to hurry up and pick something up, drag and drop, don't click F. So maybe you think armor is one of the most useful things or a helmet on this game to protect you from bullets, but what you may not know is that a frying pan, the melee weapon, is also very good at stopping bullets for hitting you in the arse pretty much. So when you wear it, it obviously dangles over your butt cheeks and it will protect you and stop you from being shot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a clip of me shooting at my friend with a frying pan on and his health will not go down, the bullets just deflect. This also works with a crossbow, it stops any crossbow bolts and even when you're holding it like a melee weapon, it still stops bullets. So if you want, you can hold it like you normally would, maybe to protect your face while you're running. Look in the top left hand corner while I shoot, his health isn't going down. So don't forget, a pan will bot bullets. So not a lot of people actually know that in this game, while you med up, you can wiggle from side to side. As you can see I'm doing right now, you can also do it while you're trying to get a shot off on another player and you know there's people behind you. So if you get behind cover and you're trying to look at someone, make sure you don't stay still. Just wiggle ever so quickly. It doesn't make footsteps noise because you don't actually make a full step. You just kind of glitch it around a little bit. So, what you do is you lay down and just double, like, just duck, tap A and D, or whatever, or W and S, I don't know. Just do something to keep your character moving so someone far away cannot get a shot on you. You should do it when you're looting as well. So, like I am right now in the open, I lay down and I wiggle back and forward. You can do it crouching, but depends how much cover you have. I didn't have much cover here, so lying down suited it better. So, bear that in mind, always wiggle. It won't cancel your meds, and it will make it so much harder for enemies to actually get a shot off on you while you loot. So on this clip right here, I'm giving you one last tip which is going to kind of benefit you so you save ammo and so it can save your life. If you find an enemy and they are swimming under the water, don't bother shooting at them. For some reason right now, there's nothing in this game which lets you hit on people under the water unless you drive your car under the water and lean out the window and shoot them because for some reason that works. But like I'll show you right now, when someone is fully submerged underneath the water, you cannot hit them. I'm shooting straight at my teammate here, yep, and nothing is injuring him, nothing's going down. So bear that in mind, you're getting shot at, you dive under the water, but if you see someone under the water, just wait, save your ammo because there is no point shooting at them. 
so now the video has ended I hope you enjoy and I really hope you can take away some tips for you to you know improve your game and hopefully win these are not there like you're gonna win if you use these they're just tips and tricks to get you better at the game like conserving ammo and better ways to save your life and don't forget this watermark will not be there in the rest of my videos we're making sure it's gone by the time my next video is uploaded and I didn't want to leave you a lot without content while I'm away so I got this one rushed and I've made it and got it ready for you so please subscribe if you're new and I shall see you in the next video.